Hey, what's going on everyone? Denny here for Pound Technology, here to talk to you guys about your questions and concerns regarding the Xbox 1.4 issue. If you guys are experiencing this problem right now and want to skip straight to the solution, we'll put a timestamp down in the description. Now for the rest of you guys who are curious whether or not this issue is going to affect you, we're going to go over a little bit of the background over the next few minutes over what's causing this and what we're doing about it. Now this problem first occurred when we launched the Xbox HD Link cable way back in January. At first, it was just a few isolated cases coming from customers saying that they've got a wavy line issue in their picture when they're playing on their HD TV. After a while, we found that there was consistency in these reports. Now, of course, we were surprised and concerned when we first heard about this because we hadn't run into it in any of our testing. We weren't sure if it was a design defect in the cables or if this was an assembly issue at the factory, or maybe this was a region problem that we had no control over. Over the next few months, a lot of different theories came up to try to explain why this is happening. Everything from the shielding on our cables, to the shielding on the Xboxes themselves, to modded Xboxes. But I like to put all those theories to rest right now by saying none of those problems were actually the root cause of this 1.4 Xbox issue. Now, some of you guys might be wondering, what's taking you guys so long to report on this or make a public statement about it? We've been scrambling ever since these first reports started coming in, trying to pinpoint the cause. For one thing, the issue isn't super common. If it weren't for one of the modders in the Xbox community, Scott Boudin, I hope I'm saying his name right, we might not have found a Xbox with a problem at all. We went through about four Xboxes on our own before Scott came around and sent us a console that he had tested himself and knew had a problem. The next thing is, this problem isn't isolated just to the 1.4 Xbox. We've got multiple reports from customers with this exact same problem who have 1.2 and 1.6 Xboxes as well. Now, once we actually had a few systems to test, we ran through all sorts of different solutions, from increasing the shielding on the cable, to changing the capacitors, to changing the voltage on the, on the cable. Of course, when our new design came out and it had the micro USB cable to plug in, of course we tried that as well. And at first, that didn't do anything either. It wasn't until we accidentally left it in the console for more than 30 seconds that we noticed the wavy distortion actually started to disappear. Now, you might think that's the end of it. Well, of course, it's not that simple. Plugging in the micro USB works for a few systems. We also found a bunch of anomalies where that didn't solve the problem as well. And when we recommended it to customers, a few of them did come back to us and say, it's not working. This was the reason why we didn't make a public announcement about the power solution because we weren't sure it was an actual fix. So what's the actual cause of this distortion issue? After exploring all the solutions we had for the cable, we decided to have a closer look at the consoles themselves. And once again, we're gonna have to thank Scott for exploring this solution for us. He found that there were a few capacitors near the PSU in the console that were swollen. And after replacing them, seemed to fix about 90% of the problem. But it's still not over. Further tests showed that on the 1.4 Xbox, even having a different power supply unit could affect whether or not this problem showed up on your Xbox. Now, the Xbox 1.4 comes with either a Foxlink, Delta, or Samsung power supply. After extensive testing, the Foxlink power supply seems to have fewer issues. The problem with that is that you can't tell which one you have unless you open up your Xbox and look for the logos themselves. None of this is to say that your Xbox is in any imminent danger of failing. It just means that some of the components in the Xbox have degraded to the point where they are affecting the signal processing power of our Xbox HD link cable. Now, the last thing that can affect this is if you live in an area with what's called dirty power. For people who live in those areas, we can only recommend that you get a good surge protector or an interruptible power supply to try to mitigate these issues. So if you guys run into this problem, providing power through the micro USB cable should definitely be the first thing you guys try. We don't expect most people to need to do this. Only do this if you find that your picture has some sort of wavy distortion to it. Simply plug a micro USB cable into the HD link adapter using a typical wall plug or, more preferably, directly into your TV. This way, the HD link cable isn't taking a constant power draw and only turns on when your TV is on. As far as changing the capacitors go, 
We only suggest those to people who are comfortable taking their Xboxes apart and modifying the internal components. This is definitely an advanced solution. If you guys would like a tutorial, we'll be posting one up in the next few weeks. And that's where we're at right now, guys. I know these aren't perfect solutions for everyone, but we still definitely recommend giving our HD Link cables a go. They're still the best, cheapest, and easiest way to connect your Xbox to modern HDMI TVs. And because we sell through Amazon, you guys have a 30-day, no questions asked, refund policy. So if you do run into this issue, send it directly back to Amazon as a defect. They'll give you back your money as well as generally pay for return shipping. For international customers, your mileage may vary on that. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Please let us know how we did on our first video in the comments down below. And let us know if you skipped directly to the conclusion or if you appreciated all the little details we added. We still have a lot of content planned. So if you'd like to be alerted on our next video, please hit that subscribe button. If you liked the video, please hit the like button. It really helps us out. And if you didn't like it, thanks for staying till the very end. Dislike button's right over there. Until next time, guys. Cheers.